Hey Van Gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Latoya Princess. Today's video is going to be on this unit that I got from Lolly Hair. Um, I believe this is my first time working with this company, and girl, I'm already impressed, okay? This wig, as soon as I pulled it out for the unboxing, I was like, thank you, Jesus. I have been wanting a curly, long unit with a middle part for so long like y'all don't even understand i have been searching for like the perfect one and girl this is it and let me tell you why first of all the hair is gorgeous it has a beautiful beautiful pattern like gorgeous okay it's super duper affordable so full do y'all see how full this is like so full but the best thing about this wig it is a ppb wig okay if you don't know what a ppb wig is it is beginner friendly a ppb wig comes pre-plucked okay pre-cut which means you don't have to cut the lace and then it comes bleached the knots are already bleached it takes all the work out so all you have to do is install okay so and and maintenance so i love 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 this wig so much so before we get into the install the specs and my first thoughts on this unit let's get into the unboxing because this wig did come with goodies okay today's wig review is in collaboration with lolly hair it came in this green bag inside was a pamphlet it basically tells you about shopping with them the shipping uh, they do wholesale etc um, inside of that was also a bag of goodies which came with a wig hanger um, it also came with one duck clip a nude wig cap which is the HD wig cap this is one of the best wig caps you could get it came with a baby hair brush and of course the unit which is water wave okay it is 26 inches and it is a 5x5 five five lace closure wig it is a PPB wig which means it comes pre-plucked pre-cut and bleached and it looks so gorgeous this is it in its natural state on the inside it has three combs adjustable straps as well as an adjustable elastic band Okay, so this is what the wig looked like after I washed it and then put some product in it. I will tell you about the product later. I adjust the adjustable straps and the adjustable wig band and now we are going to put it on my head nice and tight, okay? As you can see, you can see the lace. Um, it already came cut. I didn't do anything, so all I'm doing is put it on my head. I showed you it came bleached as well. So now I'm spraying some of the got to be glued and that's only to hold the wig down okay I lost my my um I lost my wax stick so I'm using this to kind of like tame the flyaways and make the wig really flat to my head and to mold it how I want it to sit in the front that's why I sprayed that. It is not to actually glue the wig down to my head. I don't have to glue the wig down to my head because it is a PPB wig. So it is very simple. These are one of the wigs that you just throw on your head and go. So I really didn't have to do too much work there. Um, I am going to add some of my face powder to the lace because it is not blending in. It definitely, you can see that it is lighter than my complexion. So I just want everything to be cohesive. So I'm adjusting it and I'm put the wig band on just to focus on the back. I didn't want it to slip. So whenever you see me spray the spray again, um, I'm using that because I want to make sure my hair is molded and sitting flat on the top. I didn't want any curls. I wanted it to be really flat to my head and then have the curls start. So now I'm just going to be applying that same powder to the middle part lace to make sure that is cohesive with the front and my complexion now I'm gonna take off that as you can see it is laid girl now I could have kept it right here with no baby hair but y'all already know I want some baby hairs plus I be feeling like sometimes my forehead be looking big so baby hairs helps me with that okay so I'm just going to part out two spots that I want my baby hairs 
okay and I'm also cutting it with the scissor I'm not putting a lot of I'm not taking out a lot of hair just enough so that you can see like you know a little shop shop so I'm gonna do the same thing to both sides and um, I'm just trying to make sure I'm taking out the same amount on the other side and I'm putting it in the same placement because I don't want it to look crazy okay so um, I'm using the even edge control it's the green one it's for like it's the stronghold and I'm adding that to my baby hairs and now I'm going to take the comb and we are going to mold the baby hairs to our liking. I'm just doing a little swoop, nothing crazy. I didn't make them really long. This is something really simple. Um, that way, you know, I could still kind of like, you know, lift the lace without a problem. And this, I use even edge control because it's going to stay in place. So when I take my wig off... Um, my ed my baby hairs will still be sitting the same exact way and I could apply it to my head every day. So this is the finished outlook. I just want to show you what it looks like. Look how beautiful these curls are. Look how simple it was to do my hair. Alright, I'm just showing you how defined the curls are when you use the product. The curls are going to look the same without product. I have worn this hair with and without product, okay? Now, we're going to also show you, look, I'm going to put this wig back on my head. Like I showed you, the baby hairs are still there. And now I'm going to use my tail comb to show you that it's not um, on my head, okay? I'm showing you, I'm running that thing through the lace, like... Look how good that looks. So this is a back shot so you can see how beautiful those curls look in the back, how long it is. And that is it for this tutorial. This is actually my second day wearing this hair. And the first day I didn't have any product in it and it was gorgeous. It's really, really fluffy. The wig has definition, but I really, really wanted to define the curls without it having that added fluffiness to it because I will be um, spending the night out. So, you know, I got to come home. <laughs> so that's why I added a little bit of this product. This is the Carol's Daughter Percaxi Nectar Wash and Go Leave-In. And this is for ways and coils and this works amazing I'm not even sure if they still sell this because I've had this bottle for years and um, I use it on curly hair that I love <laughs> so um, yeah I love this I love this I love this I would highly recommend it and girl it worked amazing for this wig but it wasn't needed to be honest with you because my hair looked the same yesterday just a little fluffier okay today it is just like <laughs> it's like I could do a little bit more without it looking frizzy or getting frizzy so I love that like look how gorgeous these curls are look how defined water wave hair is definitely one of my favorite textures we don't give it enough we don't give it enough because water wave hair to me is way more less maintenance than if you have curly hair and it still gives you that curly look and I love the looseness of it and it gives you length I love that so much so yeah this wig right now when I tell y'all I'm in love with it I mean it I'm so in love with my hair so I gave you the product I only use one product in this hair um, and that is pretty much it. it is low maintenance I would say you could wash it you could do like your curly hair routine like um, every other day every three four days it really depends on the products that you're adding or if you're even adding products okay it really just depends on the look that you want because again this looks really beautiful in its natural state it looks the same just a little fluffier and with the product it's just going to make um the curls a little bit more defined but it's going to stay in a little longer so i could have these curls last for about two to three days because i use the product but without the product i would say you have to kind of do it like every single night or every other night if you're going to do it like maybe every other night i would say so yeah, um, that is pretty much it. I'm definitely going to say I recommend this hair. I'm going to give it a 20 out of 10 because it's that fire. Like, this is the wig, okay? This is the wig to go run and get. Seriously, lolly hair, y'all really came with it. I love this hair so freaking much. Like, I love it so much. I don't understand. Like, I love the length. I love the density. I love how easy it is to install it. I love the hair quality. I love that it wasn't matting up on me. It's just like really 
low maintenance hair. So yeah, I definitely would recommend it. I'm gonna have all the links to Lolly Hair as well as this unit, all the specs, all that good stuff will be down in the bottom bar. And if you didn't hear already, this is 26 inches. So in the front, it hits me to the bottom of my stomach. And in the back, it hits me to the middle of my butt. So it's really long on me and I am 5'5". Five five. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm gonna have the links. Everything you need will be down on the bottom bar. I promise you, click the link. This is the hair that is worth it, okay? And I didn't have to do anything. If this is definitely beginner friendly. PPB wigs are definitely beginner friendly wigs. So if you're someone who doesn't know how to install a unit, someone who doesn't know how to bleach the knots or cut the lace and you just want something something that is going to be low maintenance and take out all the work for you, this is the wig for you, okay? So again, I'm gonna have all the links down in the bottom bar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Lolly Hair. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye, y'all.